Thermal Pulse Godzilla, but it's blue. What? In the new trailer of Godzilla and Kong, we saw Godzilla use a power we've never seen before. And what is that about? Well, in today's video, we're gonna get an explanation to why he got this power. And let's go. So it's a Goji Center video. You know it's gonna be amazing. And look at that. Oh my! Boy, that power is insane. A lot to cover today. Trailer 2 of Godzilla Kong is out, revealing the answer to many unanswered questions we had before. As okay. Breakdown will be jumping around different clips of the trailer. So much was revealed here, in fact, that we're going to drop a potential spoiler warning. Spoiler? That's okay, it. if you guys Let's don't want to get right spoiled, make sure to click away. We are taken to Egypt, more specifically Giza. I don't know why we're in Egypt, man. The Hollow Earth here as well. Blue hues here may be caused by Hollow Earth phenomena, perhaps even a Titan like Shimo or Godzilla. Now, I think For it's now, just the fourth though, to be honest. Pyramids because it seems like these are sort of a big deal as well. You'll see why in a little bit. Wait, hold on. The pyramids are a big deal? What? Up I thought next, they were we just find pyramids. Clips of an already evolved Godzilla showcasing his trademark maneuver known as a dorsal slice. Ooh. Seen in Godzilla versus Kong, now tearing through small bridges with people on them. Now, oh. our best guess here is that this takes place somewhere in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, after Godzilla underwent some sort of evolution in his ice cave scene in the previous trailer. Note that this pink hue now suggests Godzilla is more radioactive, thus more powerful. Woo! And throughout the trailer, he seems pretty pissed. I don't Especially know why Godzilla's here, angry. He's killing random people, man. Come on. Alike. This is not the this Godzilla really we cool, know. But what is said in the trailer during these sequences is even more interesting. The Titans were the guardians of nature. And the great apes became the protectors of humanity. Finally, Wait. we have Ooh. some deep lore talking about the history of the Titans, referred to as the Guardians of Nature, and the great apes as protectors of humanity. Okay, so if you saw the previous trailer, you already know that something went terribly wrong. Oh, Going man. back to the first trailer, this big monkey doesn't necessarily come across as a protector of humanity. But this guy is the opposite, man. He's the destroyer of humanity. humanity. <laughs> Another big plot indicator is this clip with Gia, who apparently has some sort of visions. In the trailer, it is implied that there is a sort of signal coming from somewhere deep inside the Earth. She feels something happening, and also Kong and Godzilla. So, hold on a second. Why can she feel it, but not other humans? Quick exactly, wait, you. what? Any species, being Titan or human, that comes from the Hollow Earth or whose ancestors live there will have developed a sixth sense for Hollow oh. Earth or Titan in Wait, but how did phenomena. she come from the this Hollow Earth to the real world? What? Titans, such as the instance when Gia knew Godzilla was about to pull up before the fleet's alarms went off in GVK. Oh, and Kong felt this too. Similarly, Godzilla, Kong, and Gia are mentioned to feel this signal. Not only that, but are also afraid of it. Now, hey, no, okay, okay, okay. Godzilla is not afraid of anything. No, of man. Anything. But in this exactly. Scene, we run into a big surprise. The surprises continue when we break down Gia's vision here. We'll go frame by frame. Pay close attention. Oh, okay, the okay. The clock here glitches into pyramids. Ring a bell yet? Oh. No, not just these, also these. But it is possible that these, however many there might be, what? have I didn't some even... sort of link or function when no, I don't. I think, I think that's just the normal this pyramids, to be honest. This civilization may be having their hands on some advanced tech that is completely different from anything else we know up here on the surface. Moving along to the next couple frames, and we see Gia wearing the same ceremonial garment we saw in the previous trailer. But it seems as if we are actually seeing the awakening of another well-known titan. That has absolutely every single reason to show up in this film. Who are we talking about? Another couple of frames forward and see for yourself. Yep, ladies and gents. Spain Godzilla! Then Mothra oh, what? Right before our Wait, hold on. I thought that was Spain. That's Space Godzilla. That's not Moth. Oh, never mind. That's Moth. Oh, no, no, no Mothra. Mothra right before our very eyes. So yes, these pyramids, apart from having some... No, nah, I had no idea. Let's, let's go! Let's go, bro. Let's go. Mothra laid her egg immediately after let's go, bro. King of the what? Monsters. If you do oh, know, let's go! Dies, which she did in 2019, oh, man, don't show this again, man. ...to the next generation telepathically. So this Mothra is technically the reincarnated version of the one that died in 2019. Bro, that kind of looks like Space Godzilla, like too. I'm not gonna lie. Like, let me know in the comments if you see Space Godzilla, too. she had maybe already hatched into her larval form, only cocooning to her winged form in this film. 
Another few frames and we see the G-Man in a form we yeah, haven't I don't, seen before. This one is crazy. What really is this close, ability, man? Like this. So much energy comes out of Godzilla in this clip that it mimics Godzilla's nuclear pulse. Seen exactly. In Note that this that is crazy, a man. Nuclear pulse, but a pulse similar to the one that killed Muto Prime in Godzilla oh. Aftershock. Energy buildup inside Godzilla's body allows him to send a devastating pulse in all directions, capable of destroying aircraft, even killing anything nearby. This, without a doubt, is his most powerful state while in his blue-hued form. A few seconds into the trailer, we even get better shots of this blue color. That, that this that blue, the it looks amazing, man. I might need to do this to myself and react to a video like that. To this clip which we did see in the previous trailer analysis and speculated to be a hollow earth entry point and now this is confirmed now this portal seems to have several energy conduits that possibly artificially activate this entry without the need of a titan to be present every single time after crossing the energy veil it seems like humanity has gotten the hang of hollow earth entry down here is where kong lives full time or is supposed to until a sequence of events that will change his life forever, i wonder what started this entire war this little fella right like how did he find the monkeys because he was there in godzilla x kong clan. versus kong kong seems to have become fond of this little fella since it would have been the first time he saw another live member exactly he's like hey yo what there's more monkeys parents die Zuko then takes Kong to the lair where they thrive. Some who seem to be there against their own will, and others who make up the ranks of a great ape army led by, yep, Scar. Nah, this guy, I can't so wait to. Now we Imagine an army sort of, of Kongs versus Godzilla. is not alone, but also is accompanied by members of a more or less similar species reigning over an empire of blood. Also, don't forget to check out our merch. And Ooh, Scar that is King fire doesn't merch. Seem to particularly like Kong right off the bat. We see them square off, but first we must raise the question why well there must i think kong challenged him to be the king the right pissed off kong maybe the mistreatment of the other kongs maybe oh. scar king verbally humiliates him it could be anything point is that they clash maybe and we he, scar king told scar him like yo bow down action. to me and kong's like no in a previous episode it takes a proficient wielder to use a whip with deadly purpose using the whip not only as a weapon but also a tool to block any attacks but now we have a really good view of this entire weapon and that thing at the, the end 100 percent controls titanishimo no, I 100% does. Sharp. Once pulled backwards, this turns into a whip blade and cuts Kong's hand. We'll probably have to guess that in this confrontation, Kong gets bested and introduced to Scar King's secret weapon. No. This memeable reaction Look at is Kong's face. He Kong is afraid, is man. This right here Kong is looks like he pooped in pa Shimo. his pants in front of everyone, man. The Monster vs. Roster of Titans. It's glowing blue eyes, an indicator that this thing has abilities to shit your pants over. And oh, yo, good to send it. Showcasing this. Kong is seemingly thrown to Shimo's den to be executed and gets a taste of Shimo's frostbite blast. How a does Kong escape, though? That's my question, man. Exclusive to Shimo that seems to have no equivalent in real life. Imagine getting shot by a freeze laser powered by energy and liquid nitrogen together, capable of freezing anything it comes into contact with. Interestingly, this energy can still be blocked, and some would say absorbed to some extent by the axe. This is important to note, because as we know already, Kong's axe is made of a Gojira dorsal plate that absorbs atomic blasts. The fact that this axe absorbs some of this energy may signify Shimo shares some characteristics with the Gojira oh, species. Imagine Here Shimo's like actually a descendant of the Gojira family, that would be insane. Like Shimo's my brother. <laughs> and the thing that caused him to get this beast glove. If you look closely, you'll see that this frostbite blast injured his arm. A side effect from frostbite is that your muscles will stop working properly. Oh, In many cases, those I thought he had injured his arm because uh, King Scorn sure injured it. will never again work properly without the aid of the Beast Glove. After all, Titan biology is drastically different than that of humans. But we'll guess that the main function of this bio-enhanced anatomic seismic thunder glove not only aids Kong's crippled muscles underneath, but also makes his attacks more powerful. Shimo did do quite some damage to Kong with just one blast. Back to Gia's vision, we see more Shimo here. No, this th frame captures look how Star King. big Kong Shimo seems is. To be in the middle of a portal or yet another but why is Kong so small, and man? Squaring off against a colossal Shimo. Yeah, this thing is huge. Look it's at him. Fours and rivals the height of Godzilla himself. The frostbite blast doesn't just harm Titans, but is also used to freeze the surrounding areas. But this is the end of the, the movie because Godzilla's Janeiro, evolved Brazil, so. Suggesting that Shimo and Scar King will use this emergence point to invade the surface. 
surface. It is here where Godzilla, Kong, Shimo, and Scar King will have a 2v2 confrontation. That the, the 2v2 is going to be crazy, man. I can't yeah, wait to watch 2v2, bro. In the hollow Earth, this has become Godzilla's problem now. Later in this trailer, we do hear that Godzilla and Kong aren't necessarily friends. And we've been saying that for a while on this channel. Seems as if Kong will inquire for help from a not-so-receptive Godzilla who happens to be in Egypt. Explaining why Godzilla is going trigger-happy with Kong. I don't know why they're again. fighting. Me and Kong so are best friends, man. means or mediation necessary, Kong and Godzilla will have to once again work together to bring down this new threat. But hold on a second. Godzilla has already evolved here. Suggesting that somewhere in the middle of the film, Godzilla will evolve to a more evolved form as a response to that signal we mentioned earlier. A more evolved Something form? He's gonna become Godzilla more purple? Imagine ready. Thermal and Godzilla, but purple version. One of his most radioactive and potentially powerful forms yet. There's still more to cover. Gia's vision reveals something about Scar King and Shimo that will be a huge factor throughout this story. If you look closely at these frames, you'll see that Scar King's blue glowing eyes and Shimo's are somewhat synced. Here is where the mystery of the glowing eye effect on Scar King oh. may be revealed. It seems as if this eye glow may be some sort of maybe he's controlling him. Influence on Shimo. Exactly, he has to be controlling him, man. Possession of this crystal, seemingly taken from Shimo itself. This also may explain how Scar King was able to amass such a large army by using Shimo to punish those who don't submit. Towards Especially end, with Shimo's size now, nah, man. With a couple of frames showing Shimo in action, Kong throwing punches at Scar King's Oh, face what? I didn't even see him. That is one Bro, big tooth. Dude. King Scar got destroyed, man. That's a tooth. Earlier. This whip proves to be useful yet again by being <laughs> he knocked his teeth out of him. <laughs> and hurl entire chunks of buildings accurately towards Kong. This beast glove is seen in action for the first time here, breaking through tons of concrete, metal, people maybe, without a problem. People maybe this not, but Kong killed like 20 Suko people right there. Up here by Scar King. What is this right, red this monkey? Fella joins Bro. The fight as well. Also in the Hollow Earth, seen hurling a giant boulder right at another Kong's face. <laughs> Imagine right, getting folks, beaten we'll by like a, a child Kong, man. Uh, these monkeys, man, they're crazy. Kong, Scar King, and Shimo floating around in a battle royale that defies <laughs> all the laws of physics. Nah, that, this was crazy. I can't wait to watch this movie, guys. You know it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to, too, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite part. And with that being said, I hope you guys like it. Peace.